Breaking college basketball news. Murray State coach Matt McMahon agreeing to take over the job at LSU, according to Matt Norlander and Gary Parrish. He takes over a program currently under investigation for recruiting violations. They might even see a postseason ban. Earlier this month, the Tigers receiving a notice of allegations leading to the firing of head coach Will Wade. McMahon's done a great job at Murray State in seven seasons, led them to three regular season titles, three tournament titles, and a couple of NCAA tournament wins as well. So let's get Matt Norlander in here who has confirmed this news. Matt, what kind of coach are the Tigers getting? Uh, they're getting a really, really good coach. Matt McMahon was tremendously successful over his seven years at Murray State. He brought the Racers to the NCAA tournament three times, uh, helped recruit a guy named John Morant, obviously. Uh, this, it felt like this is the way that it was going, but a quick backstory on all of this. Um, Missouri, which will officially formally hire, I'm told by sources, Dennis Gates, soon. they got to go through a process there. Matt McMahon was also a finalist for that job as well. Um, but he was going to get a, a power conference coaching job. He's been too good. Murray State, uh, he's guided them going into, oh, by the way, out of the OVC and into the Missouri Valley next season. So Murray State as a program continues its ascent, but it won't be with McMahon. And then LSU came hard. Now, I was told that LSU did make, and it's AD Scott Woodward, made some pretty high offers to some sitting power conference head coaches that uh, were not successful for a few reasons. Uh, we can get to that in just a second. But as for McMahon, he's done a great job. It's a different job. It's a big step up. And um, he'll obviously have a long contract because of the fact that LSU is staring down significant sanctions from the NCAA. It just fired Will Wade. It could have done so at any point in the past three years. And in talking to people around the industry in the past couple of weeks, Chris, there is a feeling that LSU will not be able to avoid at least a one-year postseason ban. And I talked to two different sources, unrelated, now the sources are not connected in any way that believe that LSU is going to get hit with a two-year postseason ban. So wow. LSU, we'll see if that happens. But I'm just telling you, there is an expectation that the NCAA is going to come down significantly hard on LSU because it opted not to fire Will Wade after there was damning evidence for years. And so because of that, a message will be sent. So McMahon will obviously uh, get a contract that is going to protect him in many ways because it's going to take time. It's hard to recruit at a program if you're facing significant sanctions like that. But it's a great job. LSU is the only power conference program in its state. A lot of players that grow up in Louisiana want to play for that school. And McMahon's a really good coach. There's a chance that this could really ultimately work out, but it could be rough in the first couple of years. Yeah, how do you recruit? I mean, these co these players nowadays, you know, they're thinking, I want to come here, I want to play in the NCAA tournament, and then I want to get to the next level. I mean, it, how hard is it going to be to convince guys at, at the LSU SEC level to maybe come there and say, it might be a couple years before we can actually play for anything? It is going to be tough, and Matt McMahon has not dealt with this. In fact, you know, uh, it's now official, but I previously reported that Jerome Tang was the next coach at Kansas State, and uh, LSU didn't chase Jerome Tang to the same level that Kansas State did. Jerome Tang has gone through this at Baylor. Um, not to say that Tang would have been better at LSU than McMahon will be, but uh, he's at least someone who has experience in dealing with, uh, you know, severe sanctions crippling a program. Think about what Baylor used to be. Tang has been there the whole way with Scott Drew as they, as they built that up. McMahon, it's, it's, it's a huge step up. How are you going to get players? Well, it is still LSU. You will still get some, but yeah, you're going to need huge buy-in. And in particular, we'll see how successful McMahon can be at retaining the roster, getting recruits in for next season, and how that lines up with the timeline on when the punishments are going to come down. I would anticipate that LSU will know its fate from a punishment standpoint before we get to next season. Uh, I would just hope, and Chris, we know how this goes, I would hope that that decision comes before we actually get to the start of the academic year so you're not punishing some players after the season has started. But I have to be clear on this. You know if you are choosing to play for LSU right now, you know the deal to a certain extent. You know that there exists a chance and a good chance that there's at least a one-year postseason ban coming to that program, and so it will put some restraints around them. But there's so much talent in the area. They will still get players. It's just can they be a top seven, top eight program in that league while this is going on? I, I, I don't think so, but McMahon's a good enough coach to maybe overcome that. LSU did get a really good one here. 
Uh, he coached John ja Morant at Murray State, coached them to a couple NCAA tournament wins, including one this season, but lost in the round of 32 to St. Peter's. Matt Norlander with us here as Matt McMahon leaves Murray State to take over uh, a tough job at LSU with sanctions coming and potentially one, maybe even two year ban from postseason play. Eye on College Basketball Podcast is where you can hear more from Matt Norlander and Gary Parrish. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.